Hey everybody, it's Brian from Survival Cash. Today on this video, I am going to try making a flower pot heater. I've never done this before. I've seen it uh, for several years now, promoted on a lot of channels, a lot of YouTube videos, and I was always curious about it, but I've never tried it myself. So today I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. Now, I'm actually gonna test out two different design methods to see which one works better um, but for the first one i'm going to go ahead and use this hardware that i have and for the second one you won't need the hardware you'll just need the pots so what i have is an eight inch pot a six inch pot a base a large eye bolt uh, it's a half inch eye bolt uh, this one is six inches long You'll need three half inch nuts and four half inch washers and then four uh, small tea candles. Okay, so this is really simple to set up. So what you do is you take the eye bolt and you put one nut on and you go ahead and you put a washer on first. You take your six inch pot and you thread the eye bolt. Wow, that took a lot longer than it should have. Through the bottom of the six inch pot, you put a washer on and then you put a nut on. And you're going to want to tighten it, but just snugly because this, these are those terracotta uh, clay pots so if you try to get that too tight you're obviously going to crack the pot all right after you got the nut on put another washer then you're going to grab your eight inch pot turn it upside down and carefully put the eye bolt through the eight inch pot hit it with another washer and finish it off with the last half inch nut and just snug it up and then the inside is going to look like that so you have your eight inch pot your six inch pot and then this eye bolt and so the idea here is that the heat from the tea candles this is going to be turned this is going to be turned upside down over the the tea candle so the idea is that the heat from the candles uh heats up this eye bolt quite a bit which helps to radiate even more heat or retain more heat and keep it uh radiating around inside here um after i saw this design i kind of had an idea of why it may not work very well but I'm going to wait until I'm done testing this and my other method before I uh, let you in on that on that idea. So the only thing left that I'd have to do, you'd have to do for this, is you would need, uh, first of all, a safe place to do this. Not on carpet or anything like that, obviously. Uh, set up two uh, hard fire-resistant objects, like two bricks. I didn't, I didn't grab those yet. Um, so on each side of the tea candles, so that you have somewhere to set the top part the top pot um, on without smothering the tea candle so you have some space between them and of course I'll show you that setup here when I get along to actually testing it but I just wanted to show you the quick process of putting this one together all right thanks for watching